Greetings from a pale uh, blue dot first. Uh, Neil. Do you uh, say greetings from a pale blue dot? Yes. You live in the ocean, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> That's where Earth is blue. <laughs> from, uh, from your point of view, is there a space in uh, the science, the universe, and the big bang theory for a concept of God? Is there, is there room for a concept of God? Yes. In a free country, yes. <laughs> Um, so, so scientifically, what you can do is you can ask, what are people's concepts of God? And there's like a wiki page that lists all the gods that civilization has worshipped over the thousands of years. So, in that question, you actually have to be very specific. Presumably, given where we live and what generation we live in, you're probably asking about a monotheistic god rather than Zeus or Athena or any, any other deities that have preceded the monotheistic gods. I presume that's what you're asking. I'm asking more of uh, like a superior view. Well, it's okay, so that's what I'm trying to get at. So, so, if you want to say there's a superior being, I don't have a problem with that. If you want to prove that there's a superior being, then what is generally called the world's faiths, you wouldn't use the word faith anymore if you could prove it. Part of why they're called faith is because they're Belief system is based on faith, not based on evidence. If it's based on evidence, we call it something else. We, in fact, we call it science. <laughs> so, 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 um, if you have evidence that there's a supreme being, that would be awesome. Okay? That would be, wow, cool. So what is it? Is it that a quarter million people in Indonesia died from a tsunami? Is it that a quarter million people died in Haiti from an earthquake? Is that what it is? Is it that people die from malaria? What is the evidence that you're, I, I, in the totality of the world, the world doesn't look benevolent, which is, seems to be a major feature of deities. So I don't, so I, I'm, I'm waiting for really good evidence, and I, I haven't seen it. But it doesn't matter, in a free country, you can believe whatever you want as a personal truth. The difference comes about, in a pluralistic country, your personal truth, to convince someone else of it, would require force or, or some kind of coercion. And this is how you get major religious wars throughout the history of civilization. So, so the point is, if you have a personal truth, and it stays with you, that's fine. It's just not the kind of truth to base legislation on in a free society. <laughs> if you have a personal truth and start creating legislation based on it, it's no longer a free democracy, it's a theocracy. Yes. We know what those look like. The guarantee of religious freedom in this country comes about because the Constitution makes no mention of God. The government does not step in and tell you who or what to worship. That is a freedom that is rare in this world. So, so, so all I'm saying is, oh, sorry, God is mentioned in one place in the Constitution. Anno Domini, 1789. <laughs> That's the only place it's mentioned. And the Founding Fathers knew this. To protect religious freedom, you keep religion out of the law. Yeah! Thank you.